Hello and welcome to Football Analysis and today I'm going to be covering the Chelsea Reading game from Stamford Bridge so it's going to be quite a quick one just a little bit of an overview as I'm quite busy getting ready to go away so we're going to jump straight into this obviously Hazard for Chelsea the £32 million deal was going to be on the pitch and he actually made quite an impact straight away also I think they paid quite a lot over the uh, over what they should have for him but in the uh, just into the 17th minute he managed to get a penalty from Chris Gunter from Reading which led to Frank Lampard Lampard Frank Lampard being able to convert it to put Chelsea ahead 1-0 ahead however it wasn't going to stay this scoreline for the first half Reading were definitely playing very very well I thought they were doing pretty well Obviously, Chelsea being Chelsea, you expect them to be pretty on it as well. However, in the 25th minute, Progonyak, probably didn't pronounce that well at all, managed to get on the end of McCleary's cross and score a headed goal for Reading to level it all up at 1 all. It only then took another four minutes for Danny Guthrie to score for Reading to put them 2 1 ahead of Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. It was a goal from the direct free kick, actually, into the bottom left-hand corner of the goal. Pretty nice free kick, if I do say so. And uh, unfortunately, it was John Terry which gave away the free kick, but all credit to Guthrie, it was a very nice free kick. Leading into half-time then, Hazard was having a few shots in, like, in the 40th minute. He had a shot from outside the penalty area, which just cleared the uh, cross bar. So we go into half-time, with Chelsea actually trailing 2-1 at home. And I think Reading were looking quite good at this. I was thinking, yeah, go on Reading, you know. Could be uh, could be doing quite well. At this point, they're actually top of the Premier League if it was going to end like this. However, Chelsea, as you expect, being at home, still had the fight in it. It took actually to the 69th minute for Gary Cale, of all people in the Chelsea squad, to actually level it up. It's quite a nice goal once again from just outside the box into the bottom right hand corner of the goal. So obviously that put it all square and all to play for. Obviously I think if you uh, would have asked Reading whether well, they would have took a draw at the beginning of the night, they would have been very, very chuffed with that. Unfortunately though, well this is fortunate for me because I'm quite a little fan of Fernando Torres even though I'm an Arsenal fan. He managed to score in the 81st minute just from a little close range shot into the top right hand corner of the goal. It's put them three to a head so back onto the Chelsea scoreline that we were kind of expecting against Reading. Obviously Reading did quite well last season being able to come promoted from the championship so obviously going up against Chelsea it was a bit of a dicey one. However, uh, Chelsea weren't going to leave it there unfortunately for Reading and managed to score in the 95th minute, yet yeah, 95th minute so five minutes into extra time Ivanovic managed to score from inside the uh, six-yard box into the bottom left-hand corner of the goal to tie it all up after 97 minutes being played. So seven minutes of extra time leading to Chelsea winning 4-2. To give you a few quick stats, I know it's been quite a quick episode. Unfortunately, I'm quite busy at the moment, but I definitely wanted to get a video out. Obviously, I've got loads of game videos which have been pre-uploaded, which will be going live later throughout the week and next week. Possession wise, Chelsea just edged it with 53% possession to Reading's 47. As I was saying, Chelsea were being the more dominant definitely towards the bottom end of the game. They were quite good in the first half but Reading I thought didn't do too badly. Obviously Chelsea being Chelsea you expect them to be able to kind of be a bit better than Reading. I don't want to kind of speak down like that but you know what I mean and they managed to get 23 shots to Reading 7 with 11 those on target to Reading's 5 on target so obviously Reading had a very nice shot on target ratio and managed to convert 2 of those which is a pretty good ratio unfortunately not enough for them to beat Chelsea corner wise as I was saying Reading were pressing quite hard they managed to get 5 corners and Chelsea only managed to get 1 and foul wise it was 11 to Chelsea and 14 to Reading so if you have enjoyed maybe Leave a comment on how you thought the game went, favourite video, and subscribe to Football Analysis. I'll see you guys later for some more gaming videos.